Hi, everybody. I'm Ron Shera. This is my co-star, Raven, from ESPN's Backroads Show. You know, I've been a fisherman all of my life, and I love a good fishing yarn. But what you're about to see is more than just a fishing story. It's a story about a fishing legend, and it could be the greatest fishing story ever told. It all began with a hungry Finnish guy and a carving knife. It was the 1930s when a simple fisherman named Lori Rapala made an observation of simple genius. Big fish eat little fish, especially little fish that are wounded. So begins the greatest fishing story ever told. As Lori Rapala fished the waters of Finland's Lake Payani, he quietly rowed and watched. What he saw was how hungry predator fish would dart into a school of minnows and attack the one that swam with the slightly off-center wobble. Lori realized if he could craft a lure that mimicked the movements of a wounded minnow, he could catch more fish, earn more money, and not spend time constantly baiting lines. So, Lori set to work. He whittled carved and shaved. Eventually, a lure began to take shape. Using a shoemaker's knife and sandpaper, he created his first successful lure from tree bark, the year 1936. Tin foil from chocolate bars formed the lure's outer surface and created flash. Melted photographic negatives were used for protective coating. But most importantly, Lori's lure began to perfectly imitate the action of a wounded minnow. Legend has it that Lori sometimes caught 600 pounds of fish a day with that new lure. As word spread of his catches, the lure's reputation grew. That, as they say, is the rest of the story. Today, Rapala's lures are sold in more than 140 countries. The legacy of Lori continues with new Rapala offerings like premium graphite rods, reels, tools, knives, hooks, the world's first long casting line, more new lures, and new ways of catching fish. Nothing is rushed to market, but carefully crafted from years of experience. As Lori Rappel approved many years ago, that which is irresistible to fish will always be irresistible to anglers the world over. The Original The world's best-selling lure. Tradition. Quality. Handcrafted. Tank tested. The legendary original Rapala is still the number one go-to lure. Whether twitched on the top as a surface bait or retrieved as a shallow runner. Weighted with split shot for medium depths. Bottom walks with a three-way rig. The wounded minnow action of the original Rapala floater continues to be irresistible to game fish the world over. This is where it all began over 60 years ago. Lori Rapala developed a handcrafted lure that embodied the lifelike action of a wounded minnow. Little did he know at that moment, he was creating a legend that would revolutionize the world of fishing. Even today, each Rapala lure with a swimming lip is hand-tuned and tank-tested to swim perfectly each time, right out of the box. 
The original Rapala is the most versatile and effective lure ever made. Over the years, I've caught fish on this lure from the surface to as deep as 100 feet. Let me illustrate some of the best ways to fish this original floating Rapala. For a shallow water situation, a surface twitching retrieve is a great technique. In and around and over cover like weeds and rocks. A variation of this proven deadly technique is to run the lure just under the surface so it bulges the water. Most of the time you can simply reel the lure slow and let Rapala do the rest. The original comes in various fish catching sizes and a wide variety of color patterns. You name the angling situation and one of the originals will fit the bill. The smaller models, like the numbers three and five, are perfect for panfish and small stream trout. The mid-range sizes, like the numbers seven, nine, and 11, are tried and true bass, walleye, and trout producers, while the numbers 13 and 18 are used to target larger predators, like pike, muskie, trout, and salmon. The original is simply relied on by millions of anglers worldwide. One of my all-time favorite techniques to catch giant walleyes and other fish is trolling the original Rapala. The first thing you want to do is make sure the lure is running properly at its design speed. In my experience, a speed of 1 to 1.5 miles an hour is for this lure the best overall trolling speed. To maximize the lure action, I tie directly onto the eye, then pull the knot toward the belly of the bait. It's important that the knot cinches tight on the center of the eye. You'll notice the lure will have a more dramatic roll in action, and that's important. Then I simply let out about 75 feet of line in back of the boat and move along. As I'm trolling along at a specific depth, in this case five feet, I intermittently jig the lure. This additional wiggle in the wounded prey action natural to the lure will even trigger more bites from game fish in a neutral or negative feeding moods. To fish this original Rapala deeper, I use three number seven split shot two to three feet above the lure. With this system, I can fish this original wrap into 20 feet of water just by varying the amount of line I let out in back of the boat. I keep track of how much line I'm letting out by back reeling. Every complete revolution is a foot and a half. Generally, you'll want to get that bait within one to three feet of the bottom to be effective. Remember, Rapala lures can be attached to your line in a number of different ways. It's vital not to hinder the lure's wounded minnow action. Split rings, wrap snaps, and a simple loop knot are also used for that critical connection between line and lure. A variation of the original is the jointed Rapala. The jointed Rapala has a more lively, attention-getting action. This extra vibration and flash can be beneficial in a wide range of conditions. For example, in clear water, many trout and salmon anglers prefer the jointed to coax bites from fish who happen to be in more of a selective mood. A slow moving jointed Rapala in dirty water can be the extra movement necessary to trigger strikes. The jointed Rapala can be presented in all of the same ways as the straight baits. Interestingly, the jointed Rapala has produced record largemouth salmon, walleye, and steelhead to name a few. I've caught plenty of big fish below 20 feet with this original floating Rapala. To do that, I use a three-way rig. A simple three-way rig consists of an adjustable dropper line that goes to the sinker and two or three foot leader to the lure. With a two ounce sinker, I can fish this lure very deep. Generally, a medium to heavier bait casting rod spooled with 12 to 20 pound test line, depending upon what species you would be fishing for, will work. When you are three-way rigging a Rapala, you'll want to try to fish it as vertical as possible. The original Rapala on a three-way rig, a tough combo for big fish. Year after year, the original Rapala remains the world's best-selling lure, and this is the reason why.